everyone. Um, as we work through our technical difficulties, I will I will just jump jump in um, and and help John out just this morning. I know he'll be remiss to not be able to say good morning to you first, but good morning and welcome to our newest edition of United We Learn. Thanks for joining us. Um, he is John Kelker, our president of United Way, and I'm Katrina Hayes, our director of community impact. Today, we continue the conversation about how we are making an impact in financial stability. For those of you who missed it, two, two weeks ago, we were joined by three of our funded partners who shared information about their programs and how they provide individuals and families the education, skills, and support needed to lead financially stable lives. Investing in high quality programs is a critical function of what we do at United Way. However, our work cannot stop there. We bring about change in our community by inspiring people to give, advocate, and volunteer. And today, we will highlight programs that deserve our collective advocacy, and one that you can volunteer to help support the priorities and strategies within our financial stability work. During our program, please ask questions using the chat option. We will wrap up in 15 minutes, and United Way staff will stay on to address any questions. If you are watching the recorded version and have a question, please send them to feedback at uwcil.org. Joining us today is myself and Mitch Baker, our Community Impact Manager. And to get us started, I will turn it back over to Mitch. All right. Thanks, Katrina. Um, so financial stability across the continuum of age can look really different. And as we think about providing financial stability resources and opportunities, they need to reflect the diversity of that age range. Now, for youth, we tend to think about being prepared for employment. For adults, we think about housing, employment, and financial literacy. And this is where the bulk of our funded programs operate, like the programs we heard from last time at Helping Hands in the Springfield Urban League, as well as permanent supportive housing and transitional living programs at Mercy, plus PATH through Memorial Behavioral Health. For seniors, we think about stable housing, and stretching a fixed income as far as possible, which is what, which is a big part of what makes Senior Services Comprehensive Elder Assistance Program so effective. And it's not just our funded programs that align with these priorities. We also have programs that United Way itself administers, and that's what we'll talk about today. Now, to get us started, we're first gonna talk about youth. When we first released our strategic investment plan for financial stability, we approached child financial literacy from the standpoint of coordinating services. But when we held our community conversation in August of 2019, the community believed there was an opportunity for a shift in this direction. The community saw that addressing barriers to employment after graduation was just too late, and that specific efforts to help increase the number of youth who are employed would be critical to our community's success. Through employment, these young people would then have access to financial resources, making financial literacy education a much more hands-on experience. You know, there are incredible resources in our community that help youth find employment, like the Youth Employment Fair at Boys and Girls Clubs. But we also know that events like this can be intimidating and that practice makes perfect. This is why we are so excited to announce a partnership with Springfield School District 186, Lincoln Land Community College, and Express Employment Professionals to provide a virtual mock interview event for District 186's AVID students on May 3rd of this year. Modeled off of our previous successes from our virtual resume review and mock interview events last year, we'll be recruiting a lot of adult volunteers, like you, to serve as mock interviewers for the AVID students. Now, to prepare, students are gonna take a sample career assessment through Lincoln Land's online resources, and we'll work to develop sample companies and job descriptions that align with those top 10 career paths of those students. Then, Lincoln Land and Express will each teach a unit one on resume writing and one on interviewing. Over the course of the three weeks before the event, the AVID teachers will go deeper into this content to prepare each student for their mock interview. Students will then submit their resumes, and on May 3rd, as part of our virtual Spring Days of Action, our background checked volunteers will simulate a real interview experience and provide feedback on their resumes. Connecting local youth to local volunteers is critical to building connections and community. And if you're hearing this, we really hope that you'll take the next step to sign up and serve as one of our mock interview volunteers. To sign up now, reach out to me or Katrina via email 
all volunteers must complete the background check packet, including a photo of your state ID. And this is really just important to ensure we have a high quality experience for our local youth. We know from experience that 100% of the participants last time enjoyed our event, and we are so excited to design this one specifically for District 186. And we really do need to mention our district hero, Ms. Denise Petty, who has been helping us envision this event and support our awesome AVID teachers from all three of our high schools. We are so excited for this event, and we hope those of you listening will join us. But with that, I'm gonna send it back over to Katrina. Thanks, Mitch. And everyone, I, I, we, again, technology, um, so fun. So thank you, and you're gonna get to hear more from me. <laughs> So uh, as we mentioned, our, our fight for financial stability is for everyone. And as we think about everyone, we know that the level of financial stability, the level of financial literacy, and the level of need is different across all people. One program that we do like to talk about is brought to you by United Way Worldwide and the SunTrust Foundation. And this program is called My Smart Money. This online platform helps guide, advise, and lead people along their road to financial security and wellness, or as we call it, lighting the way to financial well-being. Aligning with SunTrust Bank's larger goal of creating a movement to overcome financial stress in the United States, the SunTrust Foundation is committed to helping people start along their path to financial confidence. This free platform leads you to a whole host of resources and checklists that can help you right where you are today and lead you to where you want to go tomorrow. You first assess if you have immediate financial needs or if you are trying to find resources to help plan for a more secure future. From there, you are provided with drop downs. If you selected immediate needs, you would be asked if you were experiencing an emergency, struggling to pay bills, or feeling financially unstable. Each click takes you to a new prompt, which unlocks a list of resources, checklists, templates, and how-to guides that apply to your needs and wants. I know personally, the financial planning prompts have been super helpful to me. The articles and resources they listed under the Starting a Family tab helped me rethink our wedding costs and gave us a good foundation to know how to adjust our budget for the arrival of our son. This included knowing what to expect and how to figure out what, it, what I should be looking at when it came to medical expenses. The checklist also helped guide you to know how to confront each challenge depending on the resources you look at. If you didn't know about this service, take one step today and explore the site, and then take one more step by just telling one more person. This is advocacy in its most basic form, but this easy to use resource could be just what someone needs. And last but certainly not least, we would be re remiss if we did not mention tax services, including my free taxes. After all, it is tax season. United Way Worldwide has been hard at work redesigning a new and improved My Free Taxes for 2021. When you access the tax site, the prompt will help you get connected to the free tax filing option that meets your needs. Whether that means accessing do-it-yourself software or providing you with information regarding full service by the program in our area. The new Tax Times Financial Checklist page will help you improve your overall financial situation by helping you connect with financial products and services that help you achieve your goals. These products and services include referrals to accessible and affordable bank accounts, a student debt platform that will help you resolve student debt challenges and adjust your payments to save money, or encourage you to call 211 to connect with a financially, financial counseling program in our area. And best of all, the new software powering the do-it-yourself version of My Free Taxes this year is entirely free. There are no in-product upgrades or fees, which means you do not have to worry about the feeling of being baited and switched. Not only this, the new system also expands the opportunity for simple filers by supporting even more forms, including Schedule C. My Free Taxes is a product everyone can use, and I know myself and others on United Way staff have used it. But you may be asking, what makes my free taxes unique from other products? First, it is the largest free tax preparation service operated by a nonprofit. It has no income limit and no age restriction and supports unlimited state returns. 80% of filers finish their taxes in less than one at, in one hour and filers can save on average of $200 in fees by using my free taxes instead of a paid tax preparer. The tax filing software guarantees 100% accurate returns, maximum refund, and top-of-the-line security. And just 
And just like you would expect from an easy to use product, it is mobilely optimized and you can access this product seamlessly between your phone, tablet, and computer. And lastly, the MyFree Taxes Helpline is staffed by IRS certified 211 call specialists who are available to answer questions and help filers complete their return accurately. Our United Way has offered this program since 2012, and over the past five years, we have helped 540 filers. Last year alone, we helped 91 people get nearly $119,000 back in federal returns. However, with your help, once again, we know we can do more and help more people access this easy to use, safe, and free tax filing assistance program. Think about your young employees just starting out at your workplace. $200 in savings could be their next month's student loan payment or savings for an emergency. While seniors sometimes struggle with technology, you may spark the idea from one of your colleagues that they could help their aging parent file for free. And you never know who may benefit from easy to use free tax filing assistance. Take a look in the My Free Taxes Toolkit at springfieldunitedway.org slash myfreetaxes toolkit for sample emails, flyers, and more to help you get the word out to your employees, families, friends, or even uh, social club members. However, we also know that 2020 showed us just how much of a digital divide there is in our communities and that for some people, technology presents a major barrier. That is why every year we are happy to promote local partners who provide on-site tax assistance through Ladder Up and also the Center for Econ formerly known as the Center for Economic Progress and the other with AARP of Illinois. While COVID-19 has caused some changes in service delivery, both programs are providing in-person services by appointment. Ladder Up is offering free tax preparation for individuals earning up to $30,000 per year and families earning up to $57,000 per year. After scheduling your appointment, go to the tax site, drop off your tax documents and your previous returns, and you will work with your trained volunteer to complete your 2020 return. Ladder Up has switched locations this year, and their drop-off service is now held at the Salvation Army Building at 1600 Clear Lake Avenue here in Springfield. Head to www.goladderup to schedule your appointment and view more program specifications. Lastly, AARP Foundation Tax Aid provides in-person and remote tax assistance free of charge to anyone, with a special focus on taxpayers who are 50 or older or who have low to moderate income. They have not yet released their 2020 tax prep aid service information, but it is coming soon. Check the aarp.org slash tax aid website on February 9th for senior support or call 866-448-3616. Also, did I mention yet that both of these programs are supported by trained volunteers? So, for a complete list of current services, contact 211 or visit springfieldunitedway.org slash 2021 taxes to find out more information about the services that we just mentioned or how you can take the steps to volunteer. And after that, I'm going to turn it back over to John. And I'm hoping my microphone is working. Can you hear me? Yes, you can. I apologize for the uh, technical difficulties, but thank you, Katrina, and thank you, Katrina, for opening it up. Thank you, Mitch, and thank all of you for joining us this morning. I hope the information we provided was helpful and empowered you to share what you've learned with others. Join us in two weeks as we take a little trip down memory lane to discuss a powerful collaboration you may have heard a thing or two about, the continuum of learning. We will be joined by John Strempstifer with the Community Foundation for the Land of Lincoln and Hillary Raines, the Program Director of Social Innovation for Innovate Springfield, to provide an update on what's coming next from the continuum. This concludes today's program, and we'll keep the session open for a few minutes to address any questions that were posted to chat. Any questions we don't get to now, we will save on the website. Thank you. Have a great Friday and a wonderful weekend.